Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Beth from Reality Life Series. Um, I, have, I have been making videos for ATITs um, for students who are going to take their um, future exam. So in this video, you will expect um, sample problems involving conversion and percentages. And in every example, I made some practice problem and also, you can check your answer right after you finish answering um, the problem. Let's get started. Okay, example number one. Mary purchased American cruise tickets for $95 each. If she purchased eight tickets with 8% sales tax, how much did she spend on all the tickets? Solution, 95 times eight is equal to 760 and 8% 8 of 760 is 60.8 that is when you multiply 760 times 0 0.08 it will give you 60.8 therefore 760 plus 60.8 is equal to 820.8 that's a total amount she spent she spent on all the tickets Okay, practice number one. Shane purchased Norwegian cruise tickets for $105 each. If she purchased 10 tickets with 10% sales tax, how much did she spend on all the tickets? Now it's your turn to solve. Pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. Okay, for practice number one answer, we have solution 105 times 10, which is the number of tickets, is equal to 1,050. And 10% 1, of 1,050 is equal to 105. That is when we multiply 1,050 times 0.10 is equal to 105. Therefore, 1050 plus 105 is equal to 1155, which is the total amount Shane spent for all the tickets. I hope you got the correct answer. Okay, example number two. Andrea bought purses for $20 each and plans to resell them for 50% more than what she paid for. What will be the new price for each item? So solution, 50% of 20 is 10. That is when we multiply 20 times 0.50, it will give you $10. So $20 plus 10 is equal to $30, which will be the new price for the purse. Okay, practice number two. Emma bought purses for 35 each and plans to resell them for 30% more than what she paid for. What will be the new price for each item? Now it's your turn to solve. You can pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. Okay, for practice number two answer, we have solution. 30% 30 of 35 is 10, 1050. That is when you multiply 35 times 0.30. Okay, so 35 plus 1050 is equal to 4550. That would be the new price for the purse. Okay, example number three convert 16 pounds to kilogram. Um, our conversion factor is 1 pound is equal to 0.45 kilogram. So solution, 16 pounds times 0 0.45 kilogram over 1 pound, one pound. Make sure the unit that need to be canceled out is at the bottom. Uh, in this case, I highlighted them with yellow so it would be easier for you to identify. So... 16 times 0 0.45 is equal to 7.2 kilogram. For practice number three, convert 15 pounds to kilogram. So one pound is equal to 0.45 kilogram. Now it's your turn to solve. 
pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. For practice number three answer, we have 15 pounds times 0.45 kilogram over one pound. Cancel out the pound and the unit left will be kilogram. So 15 times 0.45 kilogram will give you 6.75 kilograms. Now example number four, convert, convert, sorry, convert 60 grams to ounces. So one ounce is equal to 28.35 grams. This will be our conversion factor. So to solve 60 grams times one ounce over 28.35 grams. Okay, so 60 times one ounce is gonna be 60 and divided by 28.35, it will give you 2.11640212 ounces. And then you have to round it off to three decimal places. And the answer is 2.116 ounces. Okay, for practice number four, convert 75 grams to ounce. Our conversion factor is one ounce is equal to 28.35 grams. Now your turn to solve. Pause this video until you're ready to check your answer. Okay, for practice number four, the answer is 2.646 ounces. Rounded off to three decimal places. So I hope we are in the same page. Okay, for example number five, convert 100 kilograms to pounds. Our conversion pack factor is one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Solution, 100 kilogram times 2.2 pounds over one kilogram. Cancel kilograms because we needed unit pounds. Okay, so 100 times 2.2 is equal to 220 pounds. Okay, for practice number five, convert 135 kilograms to pounds. Conversion factor is one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Now your turn to solve. Pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. Okay. For practice number five, the answer is 297 pounds. Okay, example number six, convert 15 pounds to kilogram. Okay, one pound is equal to 0.45 kilograms. Solution, 15 pounds times 0.45 kilograms over one pound. Cancel pounds and pounds. So we have 15 times 0.45 is equal to 6.75 kilograms. Okay, for practice number six, convert 20 pounds to kilogram. Our conversion unit is one pound is equal to 0.45 kilograms. Now your turn to solve. Pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. Okay, for practice six, the answer is nine pounds. Did you get it? Okay, 20 pounds times 0.45 kilograms will give you nine kilograms. Okay, example seven, convert 12 miles to kilometers. Okay, one mile is equal to 1.609 km. Solution, 12 miles times 1.09 kilometers over one mile, cancel the mile which is highlighted, and then it will give you 19.308. That is when you multiply 12 times 1.609, it will give you the answer of 19.308 kilometers. Okay, for practice number seven, convert 22 miles to kilometer. Our conversion factor is one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. Okay, now your turn to solve. Pause this video until you are ready to check your answer. Okay, for practice number seven, the answer is 35.398 kilometers. That is when you multiply 22 miles times 1.609 kilometers. So remember, the, the unit that will be canceled should be in the bottom of the conversion factor. Okay, thank you.
I hope this video is very helpful and thank you so much for watching and please leave your comments below. I would be very glad to um, respond to every, com every comment and also if you have any request, uh, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much. This is Beth from Reality Life Series saying bye bye and I'll see you again in my next video.